I'm just using it as an example, okay? I got, I know great family members that have done it. You know, they paved the way for me, okay? Um, so you as a barber right now, you're a barber. Would you quit barbering and go clean toilets for seven twenty-five an hour? No? Why not? I'll tell, I'm gonna give you an answer. You wouldn't do, you wouldn't stop what you're doing to go work minimum wage. Can that be an answer, right? Will you stop what you're doing right now to go work minimum wage? Will you stop what you're doing right now to go work minimum wage? Definitely not, right? Because obviously you make more, okay? How much you charge per hectare? How much you charge per hectare? $10. So why are you barbering for minimum wage? You guys following me so far? We're in 2017. We adding, we fading. We are spending thousands of dollars in school to get our license. We are spending hundreds and even thousands of dollars in equipment, okay? And clothes, if we don't wear uniforms, we are spending clothes, because we barbers, we like to wear the hottest sneakers, the, the you know, designer clothes or whatever, just to come to the shop, looking fresh. I got the latest equipment, I spent all this money to charge somebody $10. How, how long is that haircut? Not saying I'm not gonna want to put you in the spot, right, right. but I'm just you know what I'm saying. How long does the haircut usually take? Twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes. You gotta have in consideration how the haircuts are coming out. Obviously, no one intended. I have never seen you work. How the haircuts are coming out in twenty five minutes? I say you should allow your client give them at least thirty to forty minutes on the haircut. You know, uh, my booking slot is a whole hour, okay? Minimum, minimum to sit on my chair is $35, and that's a haircut. If you want beer, that's 45 If you want color, that's an extra 55 If you want black mask, that's 15 extra. That's already $70, okay? If this is six or up, that's $10 extra. That's already 85 Plus, yeah, you're going to tip me because I'm going to give you the best service I can give you, and I know I deserve a tip, so you're going to tip me. So that's like 85 maybe $100. I made $85 to $100 an hour, like real talk, okay? Now I can tell you what I'm doing, I have passion for it. I do it with passion. I, have, I, I, I do it with passion. I don't do it for the passion, I do it with passion. Because look how much I'm getting paid, you know? I'm in this business to make money. I'm not in the business to make friends or whatever. I'm here, I'm here to make money, you know? So, does it make sense what I'm trying to tell you, you know? Um, you wouldn't want to work, you don't you you wouldn't want to go to Walmart and be a greeter because I'm not gonna do that. They they pay you $8.25 an hour. What's minimum wage in New Mexico? $8.60. Okay. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't stop cutting hair to go to, to, to Walmart or anywhere else. Not saying Walmart, like I said, listen. I'm, I, I keep saying these things because it seems like every time I post something on social media, somebody comes out, oh, you should be more humble. Like, okay, you should, like, be more open-minded. Like, get off my page, you know? I, real quick, I posted a video Omi and I said, look, Omi can even speak English. He speaks a little bit of English and he teaches better than most barbers. And somebody said, you should remember where you come from. You should be more humble. Like, holy <laughs> shit, like, yo, get off my page. Like, I just, it's my opinion. Can I have an opinion? So, 